This is an axial CT image to the level of the abdomen and pelvis after the use of intravenous and oral contrast in a 51-year-old male with severe epigastric abdominal pain. When scrolling through these images, notice already that we have bowel loops that are swirling around the mesenteria, around the superior mesenteric vessels. Notice also that the superior mesenteric artery should be on the left side of the superior mesenteric vein. As we go down, this relationship reverses and the superior mesenteric vein now becomes to the left of the superior mesenteric artery. Notice also that there are multiple dilated loops of small bowel. These are all measuring greater than 3 or 3.5 centimeters. Some air fluid levels are also noted. We can already tell that colonic loops are decompressed. As we scroll down, more inferiorly to the level of the pelvis, we have a transition point where there is a dilated loop of small bowel and decompressed loop of small bowel here. So these findings were consistent with a small bowel obstruction secondary to a mid-gut volvulus. A mid-gut volvulus represents twisting of the bowel loops around the superior mesenteric vessels or the mesentery. Uh, this can result in bowel ischemia and bowel necrosis. That's why this is an important diagnosis to make. This is a surgical emergency and this patient was taken to surgery uh, to relieve the volvulus and to hopefully reduce the risk of bowel ischemia and bowel necrosis.